in between the depths of the oceans. Oceanic layers are becoming more defined. These layers are characterized by differences in water density, temperature, salinity, and pressure. A phenomenon known as stratification. This stratification is being caused by changes in the ocean's temperature and salinity, which limit vertical mixing, defining layers. Recent studies have indicated that stratification has increased by 2.18 to 2.42% since 1971. When stratification occurs, layers form in the ocean that limit the transfer of heat, nutrients, dissolved gases, and many other particles from transferring between the ocean's depths. This can be visualized as horizontal sections within the ocean that circulate individually, but do not flow between each other. Each layer retains most of its heat, minerals, gases, and marine life. The layers are limited in their access to each other. Due to increased stratification, heat is not being properly distributed throughout the ocean's depths, which impacts the ocean's heat uptake. Gases are not being properly circulated throughout the ocean. The ocean's top layer becomes saturated with CO2. The ocean therefore absorbs less carbon due to the upper layer being full, and more CO2 remains in the atmosphere. This contributes to the planet's warming. With increased concentrations of CO2 in the atmosphere, comes a decreased capacity of the ocean to hold that CO2. The increases in carbon concentrations also contribute to the increased acidity of the ocean. Since the Industrial Revolution the ocean has become 30% more acidic. High acidity levels are detrimental to coral reefs, shellfish, and much more. Due to increased stratification, oceanic oxygen levels are declining. With increased stable stratification, comes a warming of the surface layer of the ocean. This means that that surface layer can absorb less oxygen from the atmosphere. Furthermore, the oxygen that does get absorbed is not circulated properly through the ocean and the lower ocean layers receive much less O2. This is concerning for a variety of marine organisms that rely on oxygen to survive. This in turn affects the fishing industry, and those that rely on seafood as their primary source of protein. Additionally, due to a decrease in oceanic circulation of nutrients and oxygen, caused by stratification, plankton, and other marine populations, are declining. These organisms all require high amounts of light, oxygen, and minerals that become scarcer when mixing decreases. This consequence ripples up the food chain, impacting all. As ocean stratification increases as a result of our changing marine environment, all aspects of the ocean's ecosystem will experience the consequences. If we don't make changes to the way we interact with our planet soon, Many parts of the atmospheric and marine environment will begin to show the devastating signs of our negligence. We can help enable change.